Next on the docket, diversion. And that's when nonviolent or first-time offenders can get off without jail time or a criminal record. But it comes with a price called a fee. New York Times, they studied a county in Alabama that raked in a million bucks from diversions. And that money could be discretionary for the sheriff's office. Times details how 2,500 bucks from a diversion went for new scuba gear, always important in the ocean there in Atlanta. And also how the DA's son paid that diversion and that got him out of trouble. Jimmy, this is not just Alabama, right? So we, we've talked before on this program that if you got money, you can make bail and stay out. You don't get money, you'll stay in there even before you're convicted of everything, sometimes for years. Talk about how diversions work, and in your eyes, is it a good tool for justice, or is it unequally applied and therefore unequal? Having to pay for diversion is unseemly. What I can tell you is that here in New York, the diversion programs have been a resounding success. This is how they work. If you qualify, you go into court, you sign a contract, you plead guilty to a felony with a jail alternative that sends you to upstate prison. You, in that contract, you are gonna get treatment every week. You're gonna get tested every week. You're gonna get employed. For one year, you're gonna go to court pretty much every Wednesday or every other Wednesday, at which point the judge gets a report. The training for this, we were talking about training before, for the judges and for the people involved is outstanding. It saves the taxpayer money, Out, by the way. In, in so many ways, outstanding, because if you relapse, okay. you're forgiven. So, and that's a good thing. And at but the end now, of the year, you get a dismissal. Okay. But now, guys, we talked about this in other cases, including in Long Island, where, under repossession, okay, they'll come, they'll arrest, they'll take away your stuff, right. right? And before you even have your day in court sometimes, okay, if there's a bust or whatever. This is, to me, Unseemly. you get two people in a car. Doug and me are in a car. Um, we get pulled over. We did something wrong. I got shekels in my pocket that I can make the diversion payment. Doug doesn't. Doug gets a record and it goes away. I get sent home and say, don't do it again. That is it's crazy. It is unseemly to, to do that. I don't have a problem with during the course of that year while you're employed, making money, that you give a portion of it to help pay for the program, but to have to pay to get in and to not be able to get in and get the treatment that you need. And you saw where the money's going. Well, and the money, and the money, by the way, what, <laughs> all, scuba equipment. what also is created with that is you have people that don't even need diversion because the county wants the money, and if you have the money, oh, you got a drug problem, okay, we'll take your money. In New York, you have to qualify for it. You need to yeah. not be a dealer. You need to have a problem, and it is a resounding success. Can I just it really generally is. state here, Remember that uh, Pennsylvania judge oh who goodness. was sending kids to uh, prisons? So kids, special on it because last he was getting kickbacks from the actual uh, detention facilities for every kid that he sent. When we introduce money into the equation in terms of who stays in, who stays out, who gets diversion, who gets sent away or whatever else, it, it always gets perverted in the end. Rich, Absolutely, money is always in the equation. When was the last time you got a ticket for speeding down the highway and you show up there and you have a valid reason you want to try it in court and there's nobody to talk to, there's no prosecutor, you just walk in and you, you pay the fine, you pay the fees. Money is in the system. Everybody should realize it. It always has been. But without that was a paying, nice smack that said, well, wake up, Rich. Without paying for the diversion, the yeah. money that, that's created is amazing because these people are working, they're contributing yep. to society. Oh, I think diversion is a good idea. But the quid pro quo is how big is your checkbook? It's, it's messed up. Guys, thank you as always. See you next week. All right, coming up next, everybody, we'll take a look at some local headlines.